Hey everybody, good morning, and welcome back to the new Galaxy Gamers channel, and welcome back to the Carpathian Farm. I hope everybody uh, is having a great day. I know I am. Oh, I just, it's morning, so. <laughs> the day hasn't started yet. Uh, I hope everybody has... For those of you in the U.S. celebrating the 4th of July and those of you in Canada celebrating Canada Day, I hope you have a safe and happy holiday vacation. Um, I know that is why you'll find the videos this week may be a little bit late is because of that. <laughs> Just gave our, our rover some food. And uh, we've got some things to do I want to, around the farm today. I want to kind of get the farm cleaned, the yard cleaned up a little bit. Get things put away and, uh, you know, get a little bit of mowing done. Make sure things are better. So we're going to want to do that. Let's go in here. I want to first of all welcome also welcome our new subscribers to the channel. I hope you enjoy the content on this channel and I hope that uh, you will enjoy being part of the new Galaxy Gamers community and I hope that uh, you will invite your friends and tell them about the channel. Tell them what we're uh, trying to do which is to create a family friendly uh, channel that we can have some fun and hang out videos and we're going to have live streams we're going to have all kinds of fun just a quick disclaimer before we get going I know that i got to do this to make my attorneys happy uh, i am a software developer i own my own software development company specializing in virtual world platforms the games that i play and the video recordings of those gameplays that I bring you on this channel. I am in no way affiliated with the developers of the games, the companies that publish the games. Uh, I am not an independent contractor. I am not paid to promote these games. I simply bring you the videos for entertainment purposes only. Even though I may have my own critiques, which will be my opinion of what may be what I think could be done better, what I think is good, things like that. So, that being said, I uh, let's get started, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Right, so we need to... Okay, don't remember if I had it. Where is it under? Oh, might help if I go over here. We'll buy ourselves a Weed whacker. I think I kind of want this.
All right, we'll buy those three for what we need. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take the truck. I don't think we're going to have a problem there. He says now as he... ...ready to go and make a mess of things. Well, I think this is the first time we've actually taken out, taken the truck out, isn't it? Okay, so if you guys hear some of the audio going through the microphone, um, just know that I um I noticed it happening this morning. I don't know what's going on with that. Um It is the de it's the game audio that's actually going through the microphone for some odd reason. So I th I noticed it happening with the up I noticed when I launched OBS, this, my OBS studio this morning, and I am using the Streamlabs version. Um, I noticed that it was actually putting the, sending the game audio through how I had it routed for the microphone, and it shouldn't be doing that. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I think it was the update that did it. So let me just, um, we just fix the audio uh, for the vehicles. Unless my... Let me just fix this real quick. See if this is maybe the problem here. Is that working better? Yeah, that should be fine. No? I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It appears the OBS update has.
that better? Huh. All right. Well. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so it looks like it's actually the noise gate that's causing our problems. So, they have... They have apparently, um... They have apparently messed with the noise gate. Their updates apparently seem to Okay, there, yeah, it is the noise. I don't really know why. I don't really know why they did that, but whatever they did. Whatever they have done, managed to do, they've, um... Whatever they did in the update, they have... Done something that's... Uh, essentially broken noise gate. I don't know why. So, that's something I'm going to have to, um... that working? Is it? Okay, that is. Alright, let's see if it... What's the one to do here? So apparently they've messed with my noise gate to a point where that should not be happening. Okay. Let me just see what gain. Let me just check one thing.
Well, okay. I will have to... I will have to uh, fix that. We know that it is working. I will just have to turn down the... I'll just have to turn down the volume, I guess. Okay, there we go. All right, I will just have to turn down the volume of the game, I guess, for now. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I will have to fix that later. Figure out what is going on. Whoops. All right, let's go pick up our go pick up our equipment and um wow this is really hard and we'll go from there Would have probably probably been easier for me to just uh, bring everything back. There is a mod you can use. I know that you can set the uh, spawn point for things you buy to where you are. I just don't know the name of the mod. So. Ooh. That was a nice display by the physics engine in this game. <laughs> okay. Alright, there's that. Grab our mower. And because I do not really feel like uh, making numerous trips back and forth, sorry, I had to move my mouse pad. We're going to do this. We're going to just, um... Okay, that's going to look weird, but okay. As long as it gets, as long as it gets in the strap there for the truck, we should be okay. This is the one says the guy trying to load everything into a small pickup truck. It didn't strap it, did it? I didn't.
This ought to be interesting. I really should. I really should get a trailer for this truck. I really should. Seems to be holding its own though. Okay, we're over the railroad track. So anyway, as I said, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I know I am going to have a wonderful day today. I got a bunch of work to do after I get the videos recorded this week. I took a little t a couple of days off for the hol over the holiday, even though I lost the um, weed whacker. No, I didn't lose the weed whacker. I lost the mower. Well, we knew that would happen. Just have to walk it back to the truck. At least we didn't lose the weed whacker, though. That's kind of interesting. I didn't even see the uh, lawnmower fall off the back. It's kind of funny. Let's get this put in the We'll just run the this one right back real quick and then we'll come back and grab the others.
they won't mind waiting a few moments. What's a few moments? They could sit there and enjoy their McDonald's and their Dunkin' Donuts and... <laughs> I'm being sarcastic as if you haven't... If you couldn't tell. That's cool. Alright, I got it. Alright, let's go back and grab our rest, our truck. I think we're going to have to get a trailer for that. I think that's going to be the key. I should have just done that right from the start. Set them. That's interesting. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Wow, this is going to be hard with this thing, I think. Not to... But we'll get around the, um... Here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Right, Rex. Over. Yeah, this will work a little better, I think. Who gets caught on things? This is, this will actually work a little better, I think. So I've been thinking about other maps that we can try out for farm sim as well. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the the original author for the county lines map from that was in FS19 will actually come back. That'd be cool. That'd be cool if they came back and you know redid that one. Ported that to FS22. But I was thinking about it the other day. And, um... I know there's, there's a group of people out there who play Farming Simulator. And there's, um, a, couple, a specific group that I've watched, I've seen their videos from, that they do about in Farming Simulator. And they're kind of fun to watch. Um, especially when they do their Dukes of Hazard roleplay in Farm Sim. And I thought the other night that, you know, it might actually be very interesting if, um... Someone, one of the map authors out there actually did a map of Hazard County, which was in the Dukes of Hazard. That would actually be quite interesting. That would be an interesting map for me to even play on. I would actually enjoy that. Right, I think. We got. All right, let's go and. Let's go clean up over by a rover's area here. So anyway, I thought it, I was thinking about that the other day and then thinking about, <coughs> excuse me. How actually really cool that would really be if somebody actually did that. So there's a challenge for all you map makers out there. If you any of you happen to watch the video.
And for those who don't know, the Dukes of Hazard was a show a show here in the US back in the eighties and nineties. Well, actually probably not, more nineties actually. Uh it was set in Hazard County and um which the real Hazard County is in Georgia, the state of Georgia. And um, it was a really good show. I grew up watching it. I enjoyed watching it. And I'm pretty sure that if you grew up on a farm or anything like that, and you probably did too. I know this this episode might seem a little bit boring. I do apologize in advance. But, you know, maintaining the farmyard is also part of farming, believe it or not. You know, we don't, when you're a farmer, you're not just taking care of the animals. You do have to take care of the property, too. Because, you know, essentially, running a farm is, well, the same as running a business. And, um, a good business owner wants to keep the business looking good, the property with the business looking really good. So, yeah, we got to do this part too. And actually, in some towns, they actually do have ordinances about, um, you know, like how high your grass can be and things like that. So us doing this, um, is not really, I don't think anyway, unrealistic. And the reason why they have, you know, ordinances about the height of your grass in your lawns and, and whatnot in some municipalities, or at least the ones that do have that, is they're trying to prevent fires. Uh-oh, did I get stuck? They're trying to prevent fire, wildfires happening out of the blue, especially in the heat. And, um, 
So that's why they do it. Plus, you should want to keep your, you know, your, your land, you know, nice and clean anyway. Sure, you all would agree with that. Come on, really? Thank you. This is why you got to be careful mowing around trees. I got news for you, tree. I'm gonna find a way around you either way, so. Guess I'll have to come back over here with a weed whacker. Oh, that was cool. I'll tell you, this game does have <laughs> some interesting physics. And now Rover is going to have a nice, uh, Nice yard to hang out in. Hmm? 
Oh, that's cool. You see the dust on the mower when it hits the dirt. Wow, they actually got it down to that detail. I am impressed. Hey. So as I was saying about maps uh, before I went off in my tangent about um, Hazard County and all that, um, and I do hope a map maker, if you do have, if you are a map maker and you see this video, I do hope you'll actually try to make that map, make that happen. Let me know if you do. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, what was... So, I did also see a map see a map that you know looks kind of interesting um and so we might see if we might try it and see what happens down the road Really? Oh, come on. Thank you. back with that that with a weed whacker I think As you can see, I'm not very good at keeping straight lines. <laughs>
Yeah, so it's probably a crazy idea today. So yeah, um, I am looking at a couple of different maps and um, testing them offline first to see if I like them. And um, if I do, then I will be, you will see those being started as a series on the channel. Maybe. Some of that's going to depend on you guys, too, telling me if you like farming sim and whatnot, too. I know a lot of you like the Space Engineers series. And we've got a lot more we're going to do with that. So, uh, like I said, the videos this week are going to be running a little bit late, probably a little bit behind schedule, um, just because Monday and Tuesday was technically a holiday, and I did take those days off to have a little downtime. There we go. Yeah, getting there. No. I'm going to try it. Not going to try that, and again.
Okay. This is a long process. <laughs> I could have just used the landscaping a tool to do all this, but that would be unrealistic. Before I have people telling me, oh, but you, you shouldn't do that. It makes the place look better. Yeah, it probably does, but... Well, I hate to say it. Maintaining the yard is part of running a farm. Interested. Darn physics engine. <laughs> The other reason why you want to maintain the yard and, you know, cut the grass and all that, especially in a game, you really don't want the grass growing through the buildings, flipping through the buildings and whatnot. So, because that wouldn't look realistic either. So you kind of have to cut the grass anyway. And uh, some of this we'll be able to worry about later at a later date. We just want the... What we really want is the main area that everybody's going to see right off the bat. We want that looking good.
And that one is a little high. making me thirst all this work is making me thirsty i don't know about you guys Okay. This is looking better. Yeah, better. Ah, okay, I got that one. I don't have to worry about that tree now. Good, good, good. It is interesting. This farm, in some ways, kind of reminds me of some farms that are near where I, nearby where I lived and grew up. I know I'm missing whole areas there. I'll go back and get those.
put that around that area. He told you I'd get it. Go get this middle piece here. Now, I'm thinking we should probably have a greenhouse as well. That would help with productivity. I know in the UK they call them tomatoes, but I call them tomatoes. But um, you grow some tomatoes, sell those, grow some other stuff and sell them. That would help us with production a little bit. Plus, it would help us with revenue.
I promise you we aren't going to be mowing all the time, guys. I, I really do promise that. <laughs> So in the next video, we will get our canola harvested, get that field uh, cultivated, all that good stuff. Not much. Not much to go. So I'm sure there are probably some people out there that um, are thinking about maybe buying a farm of their own. And... Um, I would just encourage you to make sure that uh, you understand the commitment that you're making to it because um, owning a farm and running a farm, you have to be willing to make a commitment of it and to willing to have to be willing to be able to be tough and stick it out, you know, stick with it, even in the tough times. But uh, I, I can assure you that if you do that, you want to run, own your own farm and feel like you're contributing back to society by helping the food chain, um, you will feel very well accomplished. You will feel like you're doing you're contributing something to others something that we all need which is food 
and other products. Um, what I would say for those who think it's just about money, farming is not just about money. It really isn't. Um, agriculture is the backbone of most community, most uh, economies, and there's a reason for that. And in this day and age, it's easy to have people think about things from a, mon a financial standpoint and a monetary standpoint and what looks good on their financial books and records. But I assure you that uh, farming is not something... Here we go. We'll go over here and grab this real quick. Farming is not something that... Um, Farming is not something that is a quick invest, that is a fast money maker, and it shouldn't be. It has a lot of expenses. It has a lot of ups and downs. It has a lot of frustration. And uh, if you can't handle the frustration, then, well, you know, in my honest and humble opinion, farming would not be for you. But it's, it's not about the money. And I see a lot of people out there thinking, oh, you know, especially nowadays, think, oh, I can invest in a farm and make money off it. Well, no, that's not how that works. Despite what these websites out there will tell you. And I know this firsthand because I grew up in a farming community. I had to work on the farm in the summer. Um, I know what it entails. It is not... what some of these websites will lead you to think. Yes, you can invest in a farm, you know, as being a shareholder and whatnot. It, that is true, but it's not going to be something that's kind of one of those quick, you know, one of those, it's not a type of stock that you're going to want to short. It's basically a long-term commodity. That you would hold on to. Because you're not going to make money, any real money off it right away. But, you know, I'm not trying to do to uh, discourage people from owning a farm or anything like that. I, you know, I think it's great. There we go. Goodness. Okay. Well, I think I'm just gonna park this right here.
Okay. I think that's enough mowing for now. Uh, Mr. Our pup, make sure our dog has plenty of food. Here he is. He's so cool. Alright. So... We will be... I'm gonna call this here, but we are gonna be doing the crop harvest, or the canola, in the next episode. And, um... We are going to get that all done. Hopefully we'll get the harvest of it, the harvesting part done. And uh, maybe even the plowing or the mulching anyway. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize for the audio issues and messing around with the audio settings. Um, apparently there is something I need to fix in my audio settings as far as, uh, the game audio coming through the microphone. I will have to fix that. It may just be that it is just a glitch from the update that happened when I launched OBS this morning. If there is somebody from Streamlabs OBS development that happens to watch this, you might want to be careful with your update when you do updates because if you want you're going to break somebody's settings and the way they do things then you're just as bad as microsoft anyway um that being said i do apologize that the video is late as well the space engineer series video for um our progressive survival will be coming out later today as well so you both all the videos for this week will be out and then next week, we should be back on track and back on schedule. Um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button to be notified of the next when I upload and all that good stuff. Be sure to tell your friends. Be sure to invite other people to join our family-friendly community. And I will see you in the next episode. Happy gaming.